Hi, it's Steve Upham, General Manager and EVP for Crossman Corporation and Benjamin Air Guns. Um, we're currently here, set up at the Pyramid Air Cup in Central Ohio, and uh, we're over here in the vendor area where we're able to display some of our new products. And the 200 plus shooters are over there fighting the wind today uh, as they're trying to um, uh, pull off their uh, their scores. So it's been exciting so far. Uh, the venue's been terrific, even though we had some rain overnight. It's just been a, it's, it's been a great situation right now. The food trucks are busy and um, it's, we're having a great time. Today I'd, I'd kind of like to, whoa! We also have some uh, demolition targets next door to us that keep scaring us. Uh, I'm going to demo some of the, the new items that we're, we're showing here at the Pyramid Cup and uh, try to get the world excited about uh, what's going on in the world of Crossman and Benjamin. All right, first I want to talk about what we're doing with the Bulldog series. Um, we've had the Bulldog 357 for a number of years now and it's a terrific shooting gun, but we decided to step up our game. We released a 457 gun. Um, about six months ago, and it's been a big hit so far. It, it, it throws out a huge slug, and um, it's, it's under the same uh, uh, setup as the current Bulldog. But we did upgrade the Bulldog 357, so everyone knows this gun's been out on the market, um, but we, we wanted to increase the power. So we increased the, the length of the, the tube in order to get a little more air in there. We did some tweaks to the inside, and we just rolled out the M357 which is going to uh, be able to achieve uh, a whopping uh, 300 plus foot-pounds of energy uh, for, at least, uh, for at least three shots. It does come with a, a, a mag uh, in the same configuration that the old 357 does, but this one only holds uh, three slugs, and it's more of a gravity-fed uh, clip system rather than rotating, but all built on the same guts from the Bulldog that's been around forever, um, and uh, still ambidextrous, and, and super excited about that one. A couple other things uh, under the Crossman banner. Um, this is the new Challenger rifle. It first came out in 2000 and then was upgraded in 2009. We just introduced the 2022 um, version this last year and we're super excited about uh, the, the sporter class um, gun that goes out to a lot of the, the kids coming up through the, the different programs. Um, a few upgrades on this. Still has a low throw alter barrel, but there were some upgrades with adjustability. Um, as, as well as the stock design, which we think is a very nice modern look, almost a European style high-end rich look uh, for a gun that still falls in that sporter class. This is, the, the standard stock comes in black, but we are doing some limited edition stuff right now with a dip. This is a very cool Old Glory flag edition, and we will be selling these with limited quantities on the website in the, uh, in the upcoming months. More of a promotional piece, uh, tr trying to get uh, trying to get some spice back in there for the for the kids out there shooting. So excited about the, the Challenger. So I'm not sure if uh, the world is aware, but we reached our hundredth anniversary this year. There are not many companies uh, in any industry that can be proud to say they've reached hundred years, and this is our hundredth year anniversary. To commemorate that, we're coming out with a limited edition Crossman gun to to celebrate, and uh, this is basically a box unveiling. Uh, comes in a very classy box um, with a nice sleeve and the gun itself is built on the 362 that some of you may realize we came out with in, in the last couple of years. Um, I wrestled with this one to get it out of the box but you can see what we did is we took a very uh, traditional pump version of a gun to celebrate our 100th anniversary. Uh, it's the guts of the 362, but a ton of upgrades. Uh, as you can see, it's got a gorgeous Turkish walnut stock uh, that is a two-piece stock, a very nice 100th anniversary um, medallion inside of it. We did some upgrade, you know, nice things with some, some gold accenting. Uh, the bigger upgrades, though, on the gun are a steel breech kit, um, a very nice um, uh, Williams peep sight in the back, front end, uh, front end sight was an upgrade as well and just kept that classic look that um, most people know of Crosman uh, over the years. There are a limited edition. Uh, it's, we're gonna make 2,023 of these. Uh, this is number 117, it looks like. They will be, they will be numbered and serialized, and they're currently um, on, on sale on some of the websites, uh, and they're, they're $3.99. So, very nice piece. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot mine or if it's gonna go in the basement 
in the box, but a terrific looking gun with great specs as well. Lots of exciting things going on at Benjamin, but probably the thing that we're most excited about right now is the release that's actually happening today uh, at this event of our new Benjamin single die match pellets. Um, you know, Crosman Benjamin have been known for some terrific pellets over the years, and when the premieres came out in, in the mid-90s, they were a home run. Uh, the shooters want specific weights, specific tolerances that are so tight, and uh, over the years, we really hadn't released anything since the premiere that was in that high-end class, and it was a, a, a real concentrated effort. It took us over a year to get this pellet perfected to where we want it to. There have been some terrific reviews. If you check out uh, hardairmagazine.com, um, Stephen does a great job explaining uh, why this pellet uh, is going to um, do exceptionally well. There are single die. This is uh, die T and they're coming out right now. We released the 177 caliber only in 10.5 grain and they're going to come in a very classy tin inside of a box. Um, the, the 177s, 500 count, and they're going to retail for about 20 bucks, which is an unbelievable value for this quality of pellet. The 22 will follow and then uh, in a couple months, and then the 25 will follow behind that uh, in a few more months. So I would expect in the next four to six months, we'll have all calibers released. Really excited about this. Terrific results. We're handing out some samples to shooters, getting their feedback here at the event. And uh, I think you're going to see Benjamin in this high-end class of pellets uh, for years to come.